This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. Speaking at the International Astronautical Congress, Elon Musk outlined details of SpaceX's plan to colonize Mars. The company would eventually put all of its resources behind its new rocket, codenamed BFR. Funding for BFR would come from revenue SpaceX receives from launching satellites and servicing the International Space Station. Musk says the company plans on cargo missions to Mars in 2022. The first missions with human crew would take place in 2024. Musk says this timeline is aspirational. Musk also said these vehicles would be able to be used for Earth travel as well. You could go from anywhere to anywhere on Earth in under an hour. Musk says that one of these Earth trips would cost the same as a full fare economy seat in an aircraft. Amazon unveiled a lot of new devices. There's a new, smaller Amazon Echo, which promises better sound with a $100 price tag. Then, there's the Amazon Echo Plus, which resembles the original Echo, but has a built-in smart home hub, meaning it can directly communicate with smart home products like light bulbs or locks. It costs $150. The $130 Amazon Echo Spot is like an Echo Dot, but with a screen and a camera for video calls. Amazon also introduced a new $70 Fire TV, which is capable of displaying 4K HDR video. Equifax CEO Richard Smith resigned and was replaced by interim CEO Paulino de Rigo Barros Jr. The interim CEO announced that Equifax would provide a new service, allowing people to control their credit data. The service would launch by January 31st, 2018, and it will be free for life. De Rigo Barros Jr. also issued an apology for the massive data breach. Twitter has discovered 201 accounts that appear to be tied to the same Russian accounts that purchased ads on Facebook that may have influenced the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Twitter says it is speaking with congressional committees. The company also says due to the nature of the investigation, it may not be able to publicly share findings, but will try to be as transparent as possible. Stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app, available for iOS and Android.